my next vlog here in this uh, mall it is the mall of Florence it is a fashion outlet one of the biggest ones in Italy and we arrived here on our first day in Florence because we want to start discovering this mall today so I think the first one uh, the first store to visit will be the Gucci shop uh, as I have already noticed this kind of mall is consisting of big shops which are standing separately from each other so this is not like a one building inside of which you have different shops this is separate shops so you have a big separate Gucci, you have a big separate Moncler, a big separate Prada etc etc and so I think you will need a lot of time to visit each of them but we are really hopeful we're going to visit all of the shops that we're interested in so let's go just visited the first shop here in the mall in Florence the first one was Gucci and I have to say that you really need to be a fan of Gucci brand in order to buy things there because uh, all most of the stuff there is full of logos and it's really in this new Gucci style when it's really like flashy multicolored really like show off and in your face and I, I couldn't find anything there for myself but the choice of goods there is really big they have lots of uh, shoes lots of bags really lots of clothes if you're interested in Gucci uh, in the outlet it is really big there and the discounts are quite big as well I think they are about 50% for most stuff <laughs> option I wish I saw this shoes before my wedding 
and their price is 1,000, 35% discount. This is our second day here in the mall of Florence. We spent a night in a hotel just close to this uh, mall. It is, I think, 15 minutes away by car. It was called Hotel Toscana. And this is a nice place, I think, if you want to stay close to the outlet for the night. The rooms there were clean and nice. Uh, the breakfast was small, but it was delicious. So we are now ready for our new day in the outlet. We have some shops that we haven't covered here yesterday. We also are going to go to a separate Prada outlet, which is called something like a Prada factory outlet. It is, uh, a f uh, I think, a, like half an hour away from here. So the plan for the day is finishing with this mall and going to the Prada factory outlet. Let's go.
the first shop that we went to today was Prada. They didn't let us uh, film there. I think we managed to film uh, just a little bit. But generally I have to say that I was shocked by the increase of prices. They had the same bag that I bought three years ago in Barcelona uh, in the outlet and right now it costs 300 euro more than it used to cost. So I bought it for 650 uh, euro and now it's 950. And well, this is strange because the bag is exactly the same. This is a really good bag, it is high quality. I wear it for three years and it's still in perfect shape but uh, the price increase is really bad. And so we didn't feel like buying there anything at all I just asked about one pair of shoes but they didn't have my size and now we are going to go to Montclair and check out their store I've just got out of the Montclair store. It is big, but it's just the impression, uh, at first impression is that it is big, but the second impression is not really full of different stuff. There was just one winter beanie there, exactly the same beanie that I bought this summer, and uh, it was 170, I think, euro. I think this summer I bought it cheaper. I think I bought it for around 130, I'm not, I'm not really sure. Uh, they don't have a lot of winter jackets at the moment. They have just like some t-shirts, some lighter jackets. Uh, the light jacket, which is quite long, like uh, which comes to your knee, uh, costs 850 euro, I think. Uh, they didn't have any winter shoes. They just have some trainers and sneakers and they generally cost from 200 until 300. Uh, Euro, but uh, apart from that, there is nothing really special that caught my eye there. outlet in Florence. I will show you in a separate video everything that we purchased there. Generally I have to say that this is a great uh, shopping outlet but it has only luxury brands so you don't really need the whole day, you don't need tons of time for this outlet as it is only luxury brands and if you're looking for something specific it will not take you a lot of time in order to find it in this outlet. It has a really limited selection of brands and for example if you're looking for a bag like right now I am, I am hunting for a bag and you can't really find what you want there because uh, their styles are very specific. For example, in Bottega Veneta they didn't have any nice medium-sized bags. The same in Valentino and, well, 
that is the reason why this uh, outlet is not perfect. Now we are in the Prada factory outlet. I have strong hopes for this outlet. I hope I can find something here. We drove 30 minutes away from the mall outlet in Florence. We have seen the factory of Prada on the way. It is really big and it looks quite nice. Uh, the place where we are at right now, you can find it on Google Maps. It is called Space Outlet, but generally this is Prada factory outlet. You can see on the back, I have the sign Prada. This is the parking, it is huge. You can park your car free of charge here. It looks very nice because of these blooming trees at the moment. And right now we will head to the entrance. Our day of visiting outlets is coming to an end. We have finished here with the Prada outlet uh, next to the Prada factory. What I have to say about this shop is that it is actually really big. It has lots of Prada shoes, Prada bags, Prada clothing, both for men and women. If you are looking for a classic Prada bag in a color black, nude, white or gray or and also it has everything Miu Miu or, or the same for Miu Miu bag, you can find it easily here. If you are looking for something more special, it's hard to find it here I would say. Also as right now is spring summer time, they have only spring summer shoes. So for example, uh, I'm always looking for autumn winter shoes, boots like high boots. They never have this kind of shoes in their outlet in spring summer. So right now it's only like high heel shoes, sandals, sneakers and stuff like this. Prada sneakers are really uncomfortable. Unfortunately, the same goes for Miu Miu. They are very hard uh, and they are not soft at all. I've tried them. They look quite nice, but uh, as to being comfortable, they are not comfortable. I loved one ballet uh, shoes from Miu Miu. They were nude. There was a nude version and a black version, but and they were with some crystals. Very beautiful, but they didn't have my size, unfortunately. Those, But those shoes, they were around 350, I think, euro. And uh, well, that was it. I was looking for kind of a special bag. I didn't find a special bag there at the moment, but this is just just my taste. Generally, their choice of bags is big, and you can I think it's it's easy to find a bag there. The same goes for sp summer shoes. There are lots of like flats and like flip flops and, and stuff like this. There are there are some scarves, not a big collection of scarves, but still there is perfume. There are some hats. Uh, there are a lot of autumn coats. If you are looking for like a light autumn coat, they have really nice autumn coats and they are 500 euro, 550, something like this. So that was my impression of the Prada outlet, uh, factory outlet. I think that going exactly to this uh, outlet on purpose is not worth it. It doesn't have so much more stuff than uh, the Prada shop in uh, the Mall Florence outlet or Milan Florence outlet. Uh, it has maybe a little bit more, but not not too, so much more. And the prices are exactly the same. So if Milan is on your way, I suggest you go to Milan. Or for example, if you're in Barcelona, go to Barcelona. The choice of uh, stuff there in the outlet shop is a little bit smaller than here but it is still it's still very good and the prices are the same absolutely everywhere so that was the day of our shopping it was very nice thank you for watching this video and i will see you tomorrow from another city in italy bye so you're a tough guy, like you're really rough guy Just can't get enough guy, just always a puff guy I'm not bad type, make you 